Welcome to our quick guide to the 1966 movie The Professionals. This action-packed western has a great story and characters you won't forget. But that's not all. Stay tuned because we've got some fun, surprising, and sad facts coming up. Ever wonder what makes this movie so special? Or maybe you're thinking back to the first time you saw it. Now, it's your turn. What's your favorite memory or personal story about this classic film? Share in the comments below. Stay tuned for more interesting tidbits about The Professionals. In 1966, a groundbreaking movie called The Professionals came out, raising the bar for action and adventure. It took audiences on a wild ride through a hot, harsh desert where a tough group of soldiers set out on a dangerous mission. Led by a strong leader, they faced many dangers along the way. The movie became a big hit, inspiring lots of other action films and TV shows. Even though many years have gone by, people still find the excitement of watching these skilled soldiers thrilling. It was in The Professionals, Marvin and Ryan, both of whom served in the Marine Corps in World War II, were set to star in The Wild Bunch, but had disagreements with director Sam Peckinpah. Ryan stayed on the film while Marvin left. Both actors were favorites of director Samuel Fuller. Marvin lost out on roles to Marlon Brando in A Streetcar Named Desire and The Godfather. He turned down Where Eagles Dare because he didn't want another war film, and the part went to his co-star Clint Eastwood from Paint Your Wagon. The actor in question, a financial benefactor for the completion of Go Tell the Spartans in 1978, injected $150,000 of his personal funds when the film's budget dried up with just five days of shooting remaining. The original 40-day schedule had already been trimmed to 31 days to cut costs. Opting for financial gain, he declined the role offered to William Holden in The Wild Bunch to star in Paint Your Wagon. The financial allure of a $1 million paycheck plus a share in the profits beckoned, but the movie met infamy as a notable failure upon release. In the early stages of preparing for the day, the earth stood still, studio head Daryl F. Zanuck put forward his name for the role of the robot Gort. However, the part ultimately went to a much taller non-actor. In these instances, the actor made financial and career decisions that, while showing a knack for business, didn't always translate to success in the box office. These choices shaped his trajectory and impacted the films he participated in during his career. During the filming of The Professionals, Burt Lancaster and Lee Marvin had a strained relationship. Marvin's alcoholism caused issues, leading director Richard Brooks to intervene. There were rumors of a close friendship between Marvin and Kirk Douglas, but in reality, they were competitive and sometimes expressed mutual disdain despite respecting each other's acting talents. Lee Marvin collaborated with director John Huston on The Unforgiven as a response to John Ford's The Searchers. This collaboration aimed to offer a left-wing perspective on the Western genre. In The Professionals, he made his debut in a film at the age of nearly 33. Before that, he had been a circus acrobat in his late teens and had served in the war. He also acted on Broadway. She, on the other hand, had an impressive career, appearing in renowned films by esteemed directors such as Federico Fellini, Lucino Visconti, Sergio Leone, and Werner Herzog. Some of her notable roles include in Eight, The Leopard, Rocco, and His Brothers, Once Upon a Time in the West, and Fitzgeraldo. The Professionals, released in 1966, showcases the talents of its cast and crew in a gripping tale. It's a movie worth watching for fans of classic cinema. The Professionals features Claudia Cardinale, whose early movies had her voice dubbed due to her deep voice and heavy French accent when speaking Italian. She was meant to have her first English-speaking role in The Pink Panther, released in 1963, but her voice was dubbed again. In Once Upon a Time in the West, released in 1968, Cardinale and Woody Strode starred, though they didn't share a scene together. Richard Widmark, who acted alongside the imposing former boxer Jack Palance in his film debut Panic in the Streets in 1950, referred to Palance as the toughest guy he ever met. Palance's intense method acting sometimes spilled off screen, as in one instance where he accidentally injured fellow actor Zero Moss Tell during filming. Despite such incidents, Palance's performances left a lasting impression. Ralph Bellamy, the owner of his own theater company for several seasons, toured with the Ralph Bellamy players from the late 1920s to the early 1930s, performing in various cities including Nashville, Evanston, and Iowa. He played numerous roles during this time, totaling over 400. Among his early stage roles was Sergeant Joseph Mooney in the Broadway play A Sound of Hunting in 1945, followed by his first appearance in a movie in The Killers. 
Bellamy was deeply moved by the silent film, the unknown due to his background in the circus and his emotional connection to Lon Chaney's performance. He often mentioned how one scene where Chaney's character learns of Joan Crawford's lack of affection had a profound impact on him. In the movie The Professionals, released in 1966, Bellamy delivered a memorable performance showcasing his talent and versatility as an actor. On the set of The Professionals, Burt Lancaster, known for his strength, often challenged Strode to strength contests, but was repeatedly bested by him. Lancaster declined roles in The Wild Geese and Ashanti due to various reasons. He had to turn down the role of General Chang in Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country because of scheduling conflicts with City Slickers, for which he won a Best Supporting Actor Oscar. Christopher Plummer was cast as Chang instead. In addition to his significant role as an actor, he was initially set for a big part in another film, The Robe, but he ultimately withdrew from it because of its strong Christian theme. Interestingly, the dialogue in The Professionals subtly includes historical references, like the mention of the French 75. This clever hint refers to the 75 mm field gun that was crucial in World War I, used not only by the French, but also by the Mexican armies of that time. Furthermore, looking into the family connections behind the scenes adds another layer of interest to the story. His son, Bill Lancaster, wrote The Bad News Bears, showing the talent passing down through generations in the movie industry. These details not only shed light on the background of the movie, but also give a glimpse into the web of relationships and experiences that influenced its creation. Understanding the personal and historical context surrounding the movie enriches the viewing experience, offering a deeper appreciation for the connections between the creators and the story they wanted to tell. It's these small details that make The Professionals a film worth exploring beyond its brilliance on screen. In conclusion, the connections of family ties historical references, and personal choices make The Professionals a cinematic gem with a rich background and lasting impact. The 1966 movie directed by Richard Brooks, The Professionals, features Burt Lancaster, Lee Marvin, Robert Ryan, and Claudia Cardinale in lead roles. The film follows a group of skilled mercenaries hired to rescue a kidnapped wife of a wealthy rancher in Mexico. The story unfolds as they navigate through treacherous landscapes and face numerous challenges along the way. This movie was notable for its portrayal of nudity, a first for Western films of its time, although the scenes were relatively tame compared to later standards. It broke ground in this aspect, showcasing a long-range view of nudity in a manner that was unprecedented for its era. Burt Lancaster, a prominent actor known for his roles in various films, including The Killers, turned down a role in Red River in favor of starring in The Professionals, marking his film debut under agent Harold Hecht. This decision was significant as it set him on a path to establish himself as a leading figure in Hollywood. Overall, it remains a classic example of a Western film that blends action, adventure, and drama, making it a memorable addition to the genre.